Hi guys, welcome to this CWM desktop. It's the latest desktop that we'll provide in January 2021. But that's not the topic of the video, well, just the system we're working on. I would like to talk about Arch Linux kernel no mode set. That's something I'd like to look up with you guys and learn what we can do. There is a kernel mode setting, Arch Wiki, how to pass no mode set as kernel parameter, kernel parameters, etc. All good links. In the meantime, we can just have a look at GWM. When I press super and I press my left mouse, I can move it around. So it's not a tiling window manager. And um, I can make it bigger with the right mouse curl scroll right mouse click sorry and super as well so okay let's make this a little bit bigger this video is about running into issues you can't boot into a particular linux system not we're not talking about Arch linux about general linux and linux as a kernel you know where it comes from kernel.org Right, all the kernels come from Linus Torvalds and his company, and we just built, uh, well, Arch Linux builds these Linux kernels, and they come gradually every week, or even maybe even more, we get all these kernels in. And there are different kinds, Linux and Linux LTS, Linux N, Linux Hardened, and the one from the AOR. Now, the Linux kernel likes to take a look at all the hardware you have, the motherboard, everything, that's available in your computer system and it looks around and sometimes people get into problems because the kernel doesn't find it it, it uh, crashes it doesn't understand it it's it's looking around anyway there are issues right so what do you do when there are issues and this no mode set is already available when you press um, anyway if, if you go to the bias setup not a UEFI setup meaning if you boot up Arch Linux and you see this nice graphical uh, logo better show you guys well it will be an Arch Linux, an Arch Linux logo but it's the same thing so we have two ways of, in, of booting up in an old system or a new system and the old system gives us a beautiful logo then it's an Arch Linux logo and the second one on um, Arch Linux is the no mode set so no device for graphical drivers keep off and that's probably for many maybe even 80 percent of the, the issues is gonna solve booting up with this with bias and then the second line the, the safe graphical guy the other one is uh, the ufi and ufi is this this black thing with a few lines but even those can be edited can be changed we can open them with a tap or a E and then add things to it. So which things can we add to it? A no mode set here. Let's have a look. So it's all about reading and it often is and that's probably the main reason why I started with Arch Linux and not with Debian or anything else. That's the wiki. You need to read the wiki and follow as good as is possible it is technical it is a lot of information but with the videos and the articles we provide in other clicks together with those i think you are armed to understand what's going on here so you take a look at all the code let's go over them we can add elements mm, i'll just want to show you the no mode set here somewhere I think a control find no mode set is going to be here. So you may want to disable KMS for various reasons, as is getting a blank screen, no signal error. People have reported those things like for ages, right? From the display when using the this or that or NVIDIA driver or or or. To disable KMS, you use no mode set as a kernel parameter. Now we need to go here, right? Along with the no mode set kernel meter, you can add other things. For Intel graphics cards, which I have, right? Control T. I have an Intel graphics card. Check. 
and you may have a NVIDIA card and so on, you can set something I915 mode set equals zero or NVIDIA cards nouveau mode set zero or NVIDIA Optimus dual graphics. You need to add all the three parameters, this, this and this. This may help boot up. That's the first thing, be able to boot up. You add, you, you need maybe to add it later on again to the grub, etc grub default later on, but that's, that's for later. C kernel parameters. Okay, let's have a look. What do we have here? So we're not, we do not have Syslinux. Well, we do, but we don't want to go that way. We want to go to grub immediately, grub. And here it says, uh, here it is, etc default grub. So there are already some things we've added to it. etc default grub. So this is a file that's created by us for us. And we've added audit equals zero because otherwise there's a rubbish of information available and we can add more things. So if you think you need to add more things to it, uh, it was this, yeah, <laughs> thinking how to pop things up. So if you want to focus on the window behind it, I need to press super, super and then click. It's not automatically when we click. Every desktop is different. So we can add some more things in here. We can add quiet and splash. Quiet and splash are in here. Well, not a splash it seems. And there you go, you can add more things. The things that you need and you require can go behind that as well. Of course, remember to run this guy, but this guy, if you know your aliases, that's this guy. Right, I can't remember this. Well, it's too long to type, let's be honest. I can remember it, it's just too long. We're lazy, and that's why the aliases are for for lazy people, no efficient people. So, update grub, and that's basically what he does. He's going to reload, take a look again at the etc default grub, and make a new one for you. Are there more things? I guess so. We can add more things. Here's a no mode set and it all depends what you need and what you require. So it's more reading, more reading, more reading that's involved here. Let's go back, back all the way up. So how to pass no mode set That's probably same uh, explanation. This one we visited since it's purple setting no mode set. We're in the, the website, I guess the forum forum website. Oops, why? Okay, black screen on boot up without no mode set and so on. So lots of more people, we have our own video as well, use no mode set to avoid a black screen. So, but there is more than these elements as well. And I did come at across in so let's broaden the parameters. Arch Linux is to narrow. Linux kernel no mode set. What does no mode set do? Ask Ubuntu, right? Ask Ubuntu. And you go and have a look what they said. No mode set. All right, the newest kernels have moved the video mode setting into the kernel. So all the programming of the hardware specific lock rates and registers on the video card happen in the kernel rather than an X driver when the X server, X org, starts. This makes it possible to have add so on and so on. Adding the no modes set parameter instructs the kernel to not load video drivers and use bias modes instead until X is loaded. So we get here more and more information and become smarter and smarter and solve your issues. There are more parameters that we can use. And let's type just other parameters behind it. Ask Ubuntu, quiet and splash is there. Some explanations, you can read this maybe. 
But the last thing I'd like to do, CentOS, why not? It's all the same, it's Linux. Booting up, how to boot up. Here is your no mode set. And you keep trying on figuring out what exactly do I need to set it. So my system just works. Now, maybe some of you remember that I've done a, a holiday project and tried to use Gen 2. Gen 2 is interesting. I've solved many things on Arch Linux or Arch Linux with Gen 2. So, okay, this goes Gen 2 kernel enabled, Gen 2 wiki. They have a wiki too. So, there you can learn as well. Here it says needs to con contain no mode set, and it has here is passed to the kernel black screen unless no mod set is passed to the kernel and you keep on reading keep on reading finding out what other elements can i use and i haven't found it yet but there was this great um well a list of all the things you could add somewhere in gen 2 like i said unable to find it but it's here as well these are already things that are interesting backlight native if that's a problem no no epic is another one i think let's uh, go from memory no epic and that's a command no acpi is another one those are all possibilities you can add to the list so if somebody finds me a complete list with all these possibilities these uh, elements you can put behind the linux kernel that would be awesome all right, guys, have fun exploring Linux.